we're back. Thank you for joining me again here at Rompus Room for the next episode of Firewatch. Got some creepy stuff going on. We're trying to figure what's happening. Figure out what's happening. And uh, I'm glad you guys could come and join me and figure out this creepy stuff together because it's creepy. I don't like to be alone with creepy stuff out in the woods, man. Anything can happen out in the woods. You know, if I end up stumbling upon Crystal Camp Crystal Lake or something, I'm going to need some, some people to to trip when I'm running away. You know what I'm saying? So, I, well, I didn't mean you guys. You know, I'm just saying people. Just people in just, just never mind. Let's just keep going. Foggy, foggy. What was I saying before about uh, I don't know I'll, that that phone call that that uh, got me all like uh, sidetracked and stuff. I'm wondering what was going on with that. She's getting annoyed at me. Please, please, I get annoyed at you. I like this. It's kind of oh I can be going faster my bad I know I just it's kind of feels nice just walking through these woods though even though it's creepy it's not too creepy I mean it's okay right now let's go ahead and look at this uh, ain't important huh bear tooth path and thoroughfare fire lookout 5.4 miles Oh, so I probably should just be following this line, I imagine. Ah. Starting to hit the... Oops. The button for sprint is not shift. Ah, I see it there. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Cut across. Oh, you can't just jump where you want to. I guess, well, no. I mean, when I'm out in the woods and stuff, I go off the path a little bit. Not Nothing crazy. I'm not trying to get lost out with the bears and crap. Maybe I needed to keep going that way. I think so. It's a little bit linear in that regard is for me you know looking at this environment i'd be trying to just climb rocks jump over logs and stuff and just get where i'm trying to be but this you gotta kind of stay on the path yes but you must know when to break the rules all right that's the golden child give me some more of this even though i don't be using the map Hopefully a little bit later on there'll be more reason to use the map. Let's go ahead and examine this. No, let's just go ahead and read it. Dave. Hey yo, I got your note about needing to talk. And sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. We're co-workers, you know. Amigos, professionals. If you need someone to throw a case back with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I'm not great with the life stuff, you get it? Later, Ron. Well, all right, Ron. What else? What else? Well, okay. Let me examine it real quick just in case. Oh, seems like everybody's down for a brew, man. That's my kind of peoples, but they're not so good on the wanting to help out and understand people you know what I'm saying having brews is all well and good but damn can I can I get a shoulder you know I need to talk to somebody is that it didn't give me nothing useful this time huh oh wait okay okay I know what you're saying. Rompus, you didn't look at everything. A book. Six feet down, unerred. 
Seriously? Fine. I guess the useful thing was the map update. Hey. Hey, little guy. Hey there. Hey, buddy. Whoa, I, uh, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Well, isn't that something? It's actually pretty cute. I'm gonna keep you. Well, Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. Now, what do I call it? Looks like a, uh, hmm. Oh, this ought to be good. Shelly Dunval. Mayhem Jr. Nope. Shelly Duval. Duval. Ah, Shelly. I see what you did there. Very nice. She's, uh, she's dainty, yet powerful. Well, I loved her in The Shining. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm not supposed to be going that way, apparently. Me and Shelly. Shelly! Am I not going up? Oh, pfft, duh. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Good find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. Oh. So I am supposed to be getting up there. Okay, whoops. Now, what did I miss on the house? Do I get up there? See, up close. Motherfucker. There is no getting up close from here. Alright. So let's go ahead and see. Mm -hmm. I'm imagining since that pole goes up there like that, it should have a little trail or something. Walking path, you know, for the dudes who put the poles in. Yeah, but hey, what's this? Beers. Hey, so there are beer cans all over the ground up here leading up the hill. Uh -huh. That's annoying. Yeah, thing is, Same there were a bunch of them at the campsite yesterday. Coincidence, maybe? I don't think so. Same brand, everything. These fucking kids. Hold to clean up, Laura. How could these girls be so stupid? <sighs> Trust me, I never underestimate the stupidity of a drunk teenager. I'm not cleaning also, up shit. I never underestimate the balls of a drunk young woman, having been one. Damn drunk young women. Ugh. Cleaning up shit. Wait, what was that? Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Give you all clear. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. What the? Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are going to pay. Do they realize this is how people die? Go to hell. I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. Ugh. I I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <laughs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Like beer cans? They're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Whatevs. Jeez. 
after the devastating occurrence at the lake, I thought I was gonna be done with these freaks. Mm -hmm. Supply drop. I mean, I don't know if it's advisable to just go where I wanna go. How far was it? 0.2 miles and then everything this way is actually a couple of miles away so whoops I'm gonna go ahead and try and find the supply drop first watch it tell me I need to go out there next time sixty feet huh alright so that wasn't so bad nice Moss Peak, Two Forks, and Spruce. Oh, nice supplies. Duh. I guess that answers my damn question about going off the beaten path. <laughs> Stay on the path. Oh, man. What abs. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna find these damn teenagers and we're gonna wring their damn scrawny necks. Drinking all that beer. Everybody loves to drink beer in this game, but nobody's sharing any. Oh, I guess they love it too hard. Love it. Oh, wait, what's this? There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Old school. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. <laughs> wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Yeah. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. I want to use the disposable camera. What, was he a fella you had a thing with? Mm, oh. Yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Yeah. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, you know, our love could never really be understood. Ugh. Oh. I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12 year old. That part's true. He was stationed in two forks. Your lookout with his dad Ned three summers ago. He said, Ugh. "Great kid." <laughs> you can bring children out here. Mm, no, you know I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. What they couldn't uh, handle your unique brand of charm. Not many can. Unsurprising. Scar a photo dome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, yeah, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know him that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Oh, really? This. <laughs> oh, really? Fine. Seems like that'd be kind of important to me, but whatever. Excuse the hell out of me. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? Woohoo! No, not that shit heel Steve. It's your man, Ron. I went up to check on the new guy at Two Forks and Hard. 
and heard him talking to himself more than usual for lol. Lols, I guess. For lol? Anyway, so I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you say I saw Chimney Rock having him having himself in that hammock? That's disgusting. I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged. And I can't read anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. Except for us, of course, we're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot, Ron. All right. La 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 la. La 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 la. Did I? I made a copy, right? Okay. Uh, two forks. Jonesy Lake. I guess I'm going to t Jonesy Lake. Wait a second. Okay. Yes. Sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, oh, I thought about it, and yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. No shit. Trust me, I know how it's it is. Just a lookout. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I don't the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. I'm actually married. But you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, ah, stay on you the are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Yeah, whatever. Alright, what's this? Nothing. It's nothing. So I'm assuming that this, uh... Wait a second. Maybe I was supposed to go that way. I'm assuming that this freaking camera is going to be used for something other than just snapping pictures of birds and crap. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. Weird. Yeah, you know shit. What do you think they're keeping in? What do they not want to have get out of there? Oh, geez, so many things. Should I just stop you now? Maybe loads of hedgehogs. Okay. Thousands, even full percentage points. Oh, of right, woman. Uh huh. The New Zealand government is, is up in arms. Where are all the hedgehogs? Well, folks are hiding them all in Wyoming. That's where they are. Who would do that and why? Haha. <laughs> that is the real mystery. From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm. You're out by Mule Point. Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Oh, well. Looks like we're all out of time. So I'll go ahead and uh, break it off here, and hopefully we'll find these young ladies when we come back. Thank you for dropping by. Thank you. And I'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.